What's up YouTube, it's Yeti here, and I got a new program for you. It's the Left 4 Dead 2 Load Order Editor, and this is just to um, manage and organize your mods from Left 4 Dead. You're going to take control away from uh, the Left 4 Dead client, put it in your hands, and this is going to allow you to deal with the conflicts, and um, yeah, basically solve a lot of your mod issues through this program. And I'm just going to go through some of the features just to show you what it can do. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you load in is to load your add-on list, which you'll find in games, or sorry, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Left 4 Dead 2, Left 4 Dead 2, and then your add-ons list. Then you just go ahead and load that up. If you want to, you can go ahead and now click load images. And this will go ahead and preload all of the images for every one of your mods for you. And this uh, is done just to save data. Otherwise, it's pretty fast at uh, gathering the images when you click on them. Um, and then, next thing you do is edit the list as you like. So you can change the state of mods. Uh, you can fetch the, the description of the mod from the workshop. And this takes a second. And you can also auto-fetch uh, the description for each mod. But this is by default turned off because right now it takes forever as you saw um, you can mark it which just changes the color of the mod so you can get a visual of where it's at just in case you're working with workshop mods and they're all numbers like this and then you can obviously remove entry if you want to you gotta remove it you can also do this with multi select enabled all of these features will work uh, with multi select I'll go, go ahead and just show you right now. We can change the state off and on. We can... Okay, the description won't work in multi-select. Do not click that. Um, mark will work and remove entry will work. I'll go ahead and uh, add a little line of code so you can't do this in multi-select. But yeah, uh, those are some of the features you can do with the context menu by right clicking. You can also singularly move items up and down with this button right here. And the reason it's not in the context menu is because I added the feature to allow drop, which allows you to drag and drop the items wherever you please. Multi select also works. And uh, to enable those, again, you just go to File and Settings, and you can enable enable any list view related settings, usually through here. Uh, there might be more when I release it. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think of the other stuff included. Oh yeah, you can convert to local, to read only, to normal. Now, to local, what that's going to do is it's going to take all of your workshop items right here and uh, strip away the workshop tag so it's just the numbers left or the name left and it's going to allow you to port your items from the workshop folder <coughs> excuse me the folder into the regular add-ons location and then use them there and then this will prevent steam from having to read and update them through the workshop and will allow for faster load times um, what it doesn't do right now is automatically move the files for you, so I'm going to try to implement that before I release. Uh, I didn't, I don't know if I mentioned it, this, but this is just a preview at the moment, um, so I won't be releasing the file in this video. But yeah, I can't move the files for you; it just strips away the name. Um, and I guess I can show you that right now because I'm not going to be saving this. Converts all of them to local. Uh, maybe I should do that with selected ones. Maybe I shouldn't. Give me feedback in the comments what you think. Should it be the only the selected ones or the entire list? I don't know. Because it would make sense to me that you want to convert the entire list. Uh, to read only, what that will do is convert all of the files um, in your add-ons and your workshop folder to read only so Steam can't alter them in any way. Um, to my knowledge, this really doesn't even have any function and was initially intended to prevent Steam from reorganizing the mods, which is now handled by add-on lists, 
and that just changes the status of the text file to normal or read only, which is how Left 4 Dead controls the order, the load order of those mods. So yeah, you can have full control over the status of that through these menus, the macro menus. And also, this program will do it automatically for you when editing uh, the add-on list. When you load it, it will set it to normal, so you can go ahead and change uh, the file how you like. Just be warned, when you do uh, load the add-on list and it is in normal mode, you're going to not want to boot up Left 4 Dead. If it's already booted up, it's fine, but you don't want it to run through the cycle of checking the add-ons because then it's going to reorder the list, especially if it can save it. So, If you're going to boot up Left 4 Dead for the first time, if the game is not already running, you're going to want to convert the add-on list to read-only so Left 4 Dead can't change that. But while the game is running, you can go ahead and reorder your mods, add mods, remove them, do whatever you like to the mod list, just don't let it go through the initial cycle of loading the add-ons. Um, other than that, I think that's completely it. If you have any questions about the load order editor or comments, suggestions, go ahead and throw them down in the comments, it would be much appreciated. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe for that algorithm. I thank you much guys. Peace.